Hey guys, Chris here with another tip of the day for uh, real estate photography. Um, as you can see by the photo here, uh, we have a giant developer sign. Not dead center, but enough to be a real pain in the ass um, for this exterior shot that I took. Now, I'm sure a lot of you might be like, oh, just clone it or something like that. And with the realtor with the realtor sign on the side i probably would do well i did do that um but with this developer sign which is more in the center of the frame it doesn't really work because i don't have anything to clone off of because i'm not seeing the bushes behind and obviously that is a uh, real concern so what i ended up doing was i took another shot so i basically just took took some steps forward and got in front of the sign and kind of tried to line up a shot it doesn't need to be of the whole house just like as you can see here just get a shot of the part that i'm missing um so once i did that i brought them both into photoshop and you know i take the the zoomed in shot i'll call it and i just you know fix the opacity a little bit or lower the opacity i should say so where i can try to line it up now, this doesn't need to be perfect. You just want to get it as close as you possibly can. If you're off by a little bit, it probably won't be noticeable, but, but try to get it as close as you can. So I think at this point, it's as close as I'm going to get it. Um, as you see, it looks pretty seamless. I mean, I'm sure it's off by a little bit. The perspective's off just a little bit. Um, but I think for this, it won't really matter. So now, you know, I, I throw the mask on to hide it, and now I'm literally just going to, you know, use a soft brush, and I'm just going to brush over the sign. And, you know, you don't have to do anything special here. Just brush over it. Try to avoid going, you know, out of the area. So I'm just going to brush over the sign here because you don't want to, you know, alter anything on the house that doesn't need to be. So as you can see here, you know, I'm, I'm brushing it over here, get off all the walls, um, bush is set up pretty good. And now, okay, I've gone a little bit too much uh, trying to fix that edge. And so now I'm going to back it off, get rid of that. So I don't need to make the bush completely perfect. I think, you know, it's going to look good enough to where no one's going to notice anyway. So I think right here pretty much as good as I'm going to be able to get it without screwing anything else up. And again, it isn't perfect, but for to serve its purpose, as far as MLS, like no one's going to notice. So that's really all you have to do. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm going to go ahead and like get rid of this. You know, this part isn't really that big a deal. You, you're just brushing away the, the stands here and the shadow, you know, all the stuff I'm going to have to get to anyway. This is the, those are the things you probably could easily clone away and you wouldn't need this other shot. But since I already have it, might as well just do it. All right, so the sign is gone, and as you can see, you know, it almost looks seamless. Now, it might not actually be, but no one's going to be able to tell. And this is a pretty quick way to, you know, get rid of a sign where there's stuff blocking behind it. Now, sometimes it won't work. You know, I've seen shots where, you know, there's, there's a dumpster in front of the house where that's not going to work because you can't get in front of it enough to get a good shot. But if it's just a sign or something that's far enough in front of the house that you can get behind it and get a decent perspective shot that's similar to your original shot, then this method should work. I hope this helps you guys out. And uh, subscribe and like the video. Thanks a lot. Bye.